what are the best ways to improve my grade in IBDP? Uh, I think first of all, you need to go to the SALT, which is your teacher, ask them where you're lagging, ask them how you can improve. They should hopefully give you some tips. There is also a wealth of free internet resources for IB and Ascend website has, you know, does have free resources. You can also reach out to a private tutor if you wish to help you improve because sometimes, you know, you need that one-on-one -on -one help and there's nothing wrong with admitting that. But yeah, there's many things you could do to improve your grade and they're just, you know, a few of them. How should I practice okay. thinking more critically during my IB exams? I'm going to talk to you now from my subject. So from, I teach business management and I think that it is imperative for you to keep up with the news. Also local and global business news because it not only helps you sort of within your IA and your EE, it also helps you to you know, in IB Business Management, we deal with a lot of case studies and they they are found in across all of your exams. So I think it's really important to read real life case studies, assess why business managers have made certain decisions, why certain decisions didn't go well or why they went right. Keep up with, you know, what's happening in the global economy and this should really help you during your exams. So where did the IB come? So um, that question leads me to another that question for you, and, and I'm not sure if you can answer it, but you mean the school tuition fees? Is, is that what you mean? Or right. do you mean, okay. Yeah, so I, think I don't, yeah. So I think, um, I think good international schools are expensive uh, for a lot of reasons. Um, and that's, not always related to the IB, right? There's a lot of international schools that don't have the IB uh, programs and still are very, very expensive. So for schools, um, a lot of schools are non-for-profit, okay? Not all of them, but either way, um, you know, that uh, most schools, the income goes to paying uh, the teachers and administrators and the employees, yeah? So um, a vast amount of that money, even though it's hard to imagine, but yeah, all of that money, like 70-ish percent, you know, depends on the school and depends on the location, sometimes more, sometimes less. When you think about top international schools that fly people from around the world to work in their school, pay for their uh, airfare, their health insurance, pension plans, all of those things uh, can be quite expensive, right? And and good teachers deserve to to um, be able to um, have that type of career as well. I think you know if you want a good school, I mean, yeah, tell me if you agree. But good teachers means a good school, right? And kids are learning, so that's a big part of it. And then maybe not exactly what you asked, but the IB programs as well. They actually cost a lot of money now. Some schools will charge parents additional money on top of tuition uh, for if they're in the IB program. Uh, but most, well, many schools, ones I've worked in, they embed the cost of the IB into tuition. Um, now the IB uh, charges money, um, it's a nonprofit organization, but the IB has over 7,000 employees. It has a lot of people that that work for them and same thing the money has to go towards towards paying people and when you want good people you have to pay them a little bit more than average right so um and then with the diploma program the ib diploma program um you know all those papers have to get graded and so uh people like myself and others you know thousands uh get paid to, to grade and then some of those papers get graded to make sure i'm doing my job etc cetera, etc cetera. so all those things add up so what would you say the IB values the most? Well, the and, and for sake of uh, clarity, when you're talking IB, are you talking about the, the, the whole program? Like from, from you know, uh, the, the primary years program, middle years program, diploma program, or just the diploma program? Or uh, both? I'm just curious. The, 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 the entire program. Okay. And I ask that because there are a lot of schools that just use the IB diploma program. 
And that's that I would argue is maybe a little bit different, right? Because there are exams at the end that that um, I think a lot of students, teachers, parents feel that that grade is maybe what they value the most as opposed to some of the ideas that the IB stands for. Um, if you look at the IB's website, uh, their mission is so why they exist, right? That's that's and every most schools have missions, visions. Uh, and, and if you attend an international school, you should know and be aware of what your school's mission and vision are. The IB's mission is to develop inquiring, knowledgeable, and caring young people who help to create a better and more peaceful world through education that builds intercultural understanding and respect. So there's a lot in there to unpack, and I don't want to go into all of it now, and you're smart enough to know what some of those keywords are, but certainly a peaceful world intercultural understanding and respect uh, and seeing education as a way uh, to make a better world for sure. The other thing I would point out that I think um, if you take an IB uh, course or if you're in an IB school you should be well aware of is the learner profile. Those words get thrown around a lot and sometimes uh, you know students don't have a full understanding maybe of what they mean or teachers also like how do I how do I embed these learner profiles for instance a kid a student being balanced or a risk taker you know how do you how do you teach a class and make sure that's being taught those things aren't always so easy but um yeah and i think one last thing is um when the ib started and i'm a history teacher so i always look at the history of things um, a lot of older curriculums and there's still lots of schools and curriculums that do this they teach um for students to memorize and to kind of uh, have encyclopedic knowledge that you memorize and then you give back on the test and then you're kind of done and the ib didn't like that and one of the things you'll you i'm sure you've heard and you'll hear in, in, in ib schools is to be able to be a critical thinker to be able to make your own decisions and your own mind up and to weigh different perspectives and that's a big part of the ib as well